In a recent interview, Jason Momoa seemed to say that his Aquaman and Robert Pattinson's Batman will never interact or cross over. And that breaks my heart. <laughs> but he's wrong. He's wrong. And do you know how I know? Because I know more about what happens in DC movies than people who are actually working on them. <laughs> but okay, in all seriousness, he did say that. And it, it really did break my heart because I want another Justice League. And that can only happen if these people t interact with each other in the same movie. But here's what he said. He was promoting... I think he was doing Jason Momoa's in this show called C on Apple TV. And I think he was promoting that. But during the interview, they asked him... First, they asked him about Robert Pattinson as Batman. What Jason Momoa thought of Robert Pattinson getting that role. And here's what he said. I'm really stoked. He's a good man. He's a great actor. I'm excited about the whole thing. And then, of course, the follow-up was... Is his Batman ever going to meet or cross over with your Aquaman in a movie? And he said, I mean, it'd be awesome, but I don't think it's going that way. Let's just let them do their thing and I'll do my thing. He said he doesn't think. Key word there. He doesn't know. He just thinks. I think it has to happen. Right? I mean, they know that a potential Justice League movie or team-up movie would make gobs of gobs of money if it was done right. And they're not going to recast different versions of these people to play these characters. They're going to pick the people who are already playing like Aquaman, Batman, Wonder Woman. It would just be ridiculous for them to do anything differently than that. Um, let's see. The, the article goes on to talk about they are, they are digging up some old quotes from Matt Reeve, the director of the Batman movie, where he talks about whether or not his Batman movie would take place in the larger DC universe. And here's what Matt Reeves, I guess, initially said when Warner Brothers came to him. When they approached me, what they said was, look, it's a standalone. This isn't part of the extended universe. But then later on, he clarified those comments and said that his Batman would be part of the DC universe. Just to be clear, just to be clear, of course, Batman will be part of the DC universe. Batman will be Batman. In my comments from a while back about not being part of the DCU, I was talking about the Batman being a story specifically about Batman, not about the others in the universe. That it wouldn't be filled with cameos servicing other stories. That it would be a Batman story. And that, I think, is the key quote right there. I think, or at least I hope, you know, while Matt Reeves' Batman movie with Robert Pattinson in it, it's going to be its own thing with, you know, only Batman and his characters... But, you know, later on, they will have it so that this Batman, this Gotham City takes place in the same world, you know, that Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman lives in or that Jason Momoa's Aquaman lives in. Because otherwise, I'm just going to be sad. And they don't want to make me sad. Warner Brothers has got to make me happy. <laughs> and if they don't, I'm going to come down there and make them do it. No, I'm just joking around, but seriously. I cannot see how they can keep these characters separate all the time. I mean, they're going to have to have them meet up eventually. I mean, there's too much potential money for them to make by having these people meet for them not to do it. Right? Imagine a Justice League movie or some other kind of team-up movie done, you know, done better, done right, than I guess the theatrical Justice League was. They're not going to turn down that turn down that opportunity if they have all the actors in place just sitting there. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.